Hey, the coach again. Here are my thoughts on Doctor Who, the assailant of the Sunman. Let's get into this. I am so excited. <laughs> Theme for the opening titles with um, a narration suggested from the Lone Sun Men is interesting and it's intense and it gets you pumped from the episode and then you get a nice shot of a Cyber Cyberman helmet coming towards it and it scrolls into the title but this sequence and all the hype is destroyed by the Brendan story it overlaps and it is boring not boring, it just feels out of place, doesn't feel like Doctor Who, and like the music, and I know it's important afterwards, but it can switch people off, and like, yeah, like, there is great scenery in this episode, especially with the scene in which the Doctor finds the remaining humans, and the location, and towards the end of the episode with um, the weird planet kind of thing. I should have said at the start of the episode. Obviously there's going be spoilers. And why do I need to sneeze again? When the cyber drones come. It is an amazing action scene. I know Doctor Who. Um, isn't like Marvel. Or Tom Cruise. But it's still amazing. I'm like, I'm like pumping you know. Not like I'm farting. And the camera movements on the cyber drones just make you feel like you're there. It's like virtual reality, you get to, it's like Iron Man all over again, you know? The camera angles throughout this episode are amazing. You get an idea of scale of how big these are and what it's like. And you see how it's amazing. You just feel like you're there. It's action packed. It just gives a great perspective. The acting in this episode and the dialogue is amazing. I love the interaction between the Doctor and the Lone Cyberman. And they brought back the Cyber Cyberman back, obviously. But they look like the one from Closing Time. That's the third time I, even I feel like I'm sneezing. Well, second time I feel like I sneeze. One time I only sneezed. The story to suspense. I just want to watch it more and more and more. I just want to know how it ends. And that cliffhanger. The signatography of this episode is amazing, especially in the cyber ship and where you see the cyber warriors. I love how they brought back the old Cyberman music and some new awesome Cyberman music. People said they should bring back the classic Cyberman music. That'd be a good idea. There is great lighting in this episode which makes you feel like you're there. It makes it feel realistic. How, what, what do people see inside these things? The sound design of the Simon are amazing, like the editing and like the thumping and other things. Right, hello everyone. Um, I filmed that part of the video ages ago, and the reason I'm not filming on a camera is because my t-shirt, it's Deadpool, and it's got some violent stuff on it, like with guns, so I want these videos to be kept family friendly, so I not just show my t-shirt. So to talk about the plot of the episode now, oh sorry, I know that creeps people out, you know. This part of the story is more relevant in the next episode, The Timeless Children, but in the early 20th century, 
a couple of Dr. Child named Brendan who becomes a police officer and he falls off a cliff after he was shot. He survives and when he retires, his dad and his mentor wipes his memory. We then cut to the immediate aftermath of the cyber wars, which there have been cyber wars before. Like, um, with Tom Baker, Revenge of the Cybermen, I think, um, that story was set during the cyber wars or the aftermath. Well, Nightmare on not Nightmare on Elm Street, man. Nightmare in Silver is set after the cyber wars on Hedrick's, whatever. You know what I mean, mate. The Doctor arrive at the aftermath of the Cyber Wars to find the last remaining humans. Cyber drones come and they kill a few characters off. I'm not sure if I said this already in the video, but spoilers. I'm being serious, there are spoilers in this episode. In this video, you know what I mean, right? The Doctor tells her companions to go with the humans and look after them while she confronts the Cybermen. Ryan and a character named Ethan are left behind and they help the Doctor. The Doctor can't lose the TARDIS so the Doctor, Ryan and Ethan lose the Cyber Shuttle. Cybermen have had shuttles since the 60s right? They're from space so it makes sense. I recently just watched the Templar because they're going on DVD now. Yaz, Graham and the other humans find out that the power on their ship is gone and they are stuck in space with loads of dead Cybermen. Yaz and Graham then go on a Who ship, which is actually a massive Cybermen ship with loads of Cybermen about to convert. Not convert, about to come alive, but they're actually called Cyber Warriors. They think the ship will go to Ko Sam. Whatever. You, the magical place, you know. It's a heaven, home to the boundary, which is a portal to the other side of the universe. The Doctor then finds out that Ko Samus is actually a human being. The lone Cyberman arrives on the ship with loads of Cybermen in, and he activates them all to kill um, Yaz and Graham and all the other people. The Doctor tells Yaz to get off um, the ship. But, then the portal leads to Gallifrey. Then the master jumps out. Anyway, thanks for all. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the future. And goodbye.